Alright guys, welcome to your 30th, I think. I'm not sure. That's going to be embarrassing if I'm wrong. But I'm going to say the 30th HTML5 tutorial. And before I continue, I just want to remind you guys, if you are too lazy to type this code or if you know you're making a mistake or something I'm gonna be putting all this code from my HTML file CSS file and also the JavaScript file that we're gonna be making in a couple minutes on my website it's actually gonna be on my forum under the web development section so go get it it's free there you go so now that we programmed everything let me go ahead and show you guys what we did so far we pretty much programmed everything, made our skin all nice, red, added border, and put our play button to the left. It's time to go ahead and start making those default bars and progress bars. Now remember, in our navigation section on the bottom, navigation section, yeah, it's a tongue twister, we have the play button and we also have the default bar or progress bar. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. The first thing we need to style is that default bar. So it has an ID of, can you guess it? Default bar. And this is pretty much, if you don't, before your video even starts playing, this is what's gonna appear at the bottom. But one second, I got an itch in my ear. Oh, yeah, that was definitely relieving. So let me go ahead and the position is this of this, I can't type and talk at the same time, is going to be relative. Now we need to specify the position because we're going to put the progress bar inside here and change the position of that. So it's better to specify things whenever you're working with positions. Even if the default is, you know, relative or something, it's always good to specify it. So now what I want to do is I want this progress bar to but right up against this play bar. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be floating this to the left as, re as well. So float left and this makes it appear right after that play button. Now what I want to do is I want to get this, oh I cannot talk today, I might as well just drop kick myself in the mouth. I want to give this progress bar a set width. So I'm going to be setting this width to 600 pixels. Now, this is what I was warning you guys about. You see how our entire video player skin's width is 700? That means it's 700 from here to here. Now, our play button's width is 70, and our default bar is 600. So just make sure that whenever you add up your default bar and your play button, that it does not exceed the total width of your skin, or else your bar is going to be from like here to here and it's going to look funny. Make sure it's less so that it can fit nicely inside your skin. So that's one thing you may want to uh, look out for, watch out for, however the heck you want to say it. So now I'm going to go ahead and give it a height, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a height of 16 pixels, and that is because I'm going to be adding a border to this and also some padding so once I do those I want to compensate and make it somewhat around the same height as that so give it a height a little less so you can add some padding and it won't you know be so much different and just give it padding of like four pixels that should be enough and also like I said I want to give it a border now I want to mention this whenever I'm making my own players I don't add a border, but for the sake of this tutorial, just so you guys can really see what's going on, I'm going to add a border to this default bar. So give it a border of something like, uh, I don't know, two pixels, solid black. Don't give it like four pixels or anything. That's just kind of overkill. And now I'm going to give it a background of yellow. So let's go ahead and refresh this and see what we got. So now, as you can see, if you didn't understand what I was talking about before, you can clearly see now what we're going to be having is a default bar right here now this isn't going to change at all however inside here we're going to be making a progress bar which is just going to be like this but a different color and the progress bar is actually going to move as our video is playing so right now we hit play nothing happens but i want to mention this the things we talked about we floated it to the left and that's why as soon as this play button stops this starts right here it has a width of 600 pixels so this 600 plus the 70 right here gives it less than 700 that's why it fits nicely inside our skin it has the height of 16 plus some padding plus this border I don't know if you guys can see this let me scroll in but there's a border a black border around here and that's what I was talking about I don't usually make it whenever I'm 
you know making my own for my websites and stuff but uh just teaching you guys i want to tell you guys is that you can indeed have a border if you want in the background i usually make mine white or light gray but i want to make it yellow just so you guys can clearly see what's going on now the only other thing we need to add is our progress bar now I cannot wait to show you guys this because once I do you guys are going to understand everything. So remember our progress bar goes inside our default bar. Pretty weird huh? Well let me go ahead and show that to you guys. Now it had an ID of progress bar, hopefully I spelled that right. Let me just go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and copy that shiz and paste it so I make sure I don't mess up anything. Progress bar and the very first thing I want to do Oh, I got the hiccups now. Great timing for those. Position, and I want to change this to absolute. And this is because we need this pretty much not relative to anything. We need it to be spaced absolute relative to this default bar. And listen, just put absolute. I can't really explain positioning because we have a bunch of elements on there, but that's what you need. Next, you need a default width and I'm just gonna set mine zero pixels now I wanna mention this as you play your video the width of this is gonna change however it's gonna change through JavaScript we're gonna be changing this setting through JavaScript but by default before you even play your video at all we're gonna give it a default width of zero which pretty much means don't even show up at all so now we want to give it a height and just make the height the same height as the default bar. And it's going to go ahead and appear like it's inside thanks to this padding right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do something later on and you guys can see what's going on. But after this you want to give it a background different than your default bar. So go ahead and copy this and instead of yellow give it a background like a blue or something. Now if you just go ahead and save it right now and refresh nothing happens. Why is that? Because it has no width whatsoever. However go ahead and change this to like 250 and refresh and check it out. So what's going to happen as you can see is we got a bar that's 250 wide. As our video is playing this blue progress bar is going to grow and grow and grow and when our video ends it's going to get to the end. So that is what's going to happen and as you can see we got this default bar, this yellow bar and this blue bar is the same height but thanks to that padding that is why this blue bar looks like it's inside this yellow bar. So whenever I say default bar from now on I'm talking about this yellow thing and whenever I'm talking about progress bar I'm talking about this blue thing. Now the reason it appears so wide right now is because we just changed it to 250 for demonstration purposes but go ahead and set that to zero by default. Now whenever we play our video we want this to grow and grow and grow however we can't do that strictly through HTML and we can't do that through CSS for that we need JavaScript and that's why I was stressing JavaScript in the last couple tutorials because that's when it's gonna come in uh, handy whenever we're programming this video player so for now make sure you got everything looking pretty and make sure whenever you change the width of this progress bar that it changes the size of it and that's what we're gonna be programming through JavaScript in the next couple of tutorials but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later